All right, let's talk to the baritone and trombone player who's thinking about switching to tuba. When you're gonna to switch to tuba, you probably are gonna have the easiest time switching to, especially baritone players, because the tuba is basically like a giant baritone. Um, if, you're so, if you're used to playing those valve combinations and you're used to reading bass clef, the tuba is gonna be pretty easy to transfer over to. Um, one thing is, is that the notes are gonna be exactly the same. The same pitches are gonna have the exact same fingerings. The thing that will be tricky is reading the different clef. Okay? That's what's going to make it a little bit tricky. Now, let me talk to the trombone players just for a second. If you're a trombone player and you haven't realized this yet, you'll notice that when you play a certain slide position, the baritone or euphonium player in the band or the trumpet player when you guys are playing a unison song uh, will always do the same valve combination for a specific slide position that you're in. And I'm going to include on this uh, video a small chart to show you the relationship between trombone slide positions and tuba valve combinations. And if you're a baritone player, you'll notice, you'll recognize the pattern very quickly. But just real quickly, I'll explain it. On a trombone, whenever you're in first position, you, do, you don't have any slide post slide out at all. Um, you are going to think of that as the same as no valves on a other brass instrument, like a baritone. So this also works switching to baritone as well. You might even want to think about trying baritone first before you try tuba, just so you get the valve combination association down. As you go down, when you go to second position, that is like a valve instrument playing second valve. When you go to third position, that is like a valve instrument playing first valve. And so on would be fourth position would be first and second, or sometimes they actually use the third valve, which is the same as one and two. Then they could also go to fifth position, which would be two and three on the instrument, Sixth position, remember how we always have to go way out there for sixth position? That's where the valve instruments have it nice and easy. They just have to press one and three down to get that position. And then seventh position is all three valves down at the same time. And that's where all those combinations come in. So take a look at the, the screenshot of uh, how the valve positions and the, or sorry, the slide positions and the valve combinations correlate because they'll be exactly the same. So if you've already learned on trombone something is fourth position, you just need to go boop, 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 in your head and there you go fourth position or if you've learned something to sixth position it's always going to be one and three if you've learned something is second position it's always going to mean middle valve whatever position you've learned a note in the exact same note is going to be the exact same valve combination every time for um, some of the other instruments so those are some uh, tricks that uh, trombone players can use in baritone you're going to start noticing the same patterns if you want i would recommend the baritone players First thing you want to do on the tuba is think about when you play F, B flat, F, and B flat. See if you can find those pitches first because you're going to feel a little bit bigger of a mouthpiece, which shouldn't be as much of a difficulty for you because your mouthpiece is already somewhat large. You're just going to have to be able to relax just a little bit more for the notes to drop down. See if you can get F, B flat, and B flat. <laughs> that, think of your concert B flat major scale that you learned, and then play through those a little bit to start getting a feel of where the notes are. Last but not least, you're going to have to start learning the, all the ledger line notes because we're not used to reading down that low in bass clef, but once you've learned a few of those ledger line notes and just practice them, maybe with some flashcards, you're really going to be able to see the, the, how the tuba is so much similar to the baritone.